In this video, I am talking about this Nikon Z6 video rig. Yes, this is uh, my personal uh, Nikon Z6 rig. I've been using Sony cameras for filming and Nikon cameras for photography for a while now, but since I bought Nikon Z6, this Nikon Z6 earlier this year, I started filming more and more with it, so I've decided to, to give it this treatment. However, I am not being paid by small rig or anyone else to say anything about these, these parts or, or, or whole rig. This is actually my personal rig, which I have paid my hard and cash for. And this is the one I use on a daily basis for filming with this, with this camera. And before we go into all the details of, of every single item on this rig, let's take it apart first. Okay, now we got everything apart. Let's assemble my rig again and I will talk about every single uh, item here uh, in detail. So let's start from the start of the show, the cage. This is a small rig, of course, a Z5, Z6 and a Z7 cage. I usually, when using my Sony cameras in, the, in small rig cages, I usually put them in and take them out when I need to, if I want to put a camera on the gimbal or I want to do photography with it, I, I will just take it out of the cage. In this case, they have thought about, this is a good thing, uh, to secure the camera in two points to the cage so it doesn't twist and unscrew. But that means it's awkward to take it out. To secure it to a second point, I have to take that triangle strap holder. So each camera, every camera you've ever seen has got these triangle uh, little um, strap holders. And uh, to connect it to this cage, I had to take one out. Yeah, this one. So basically, if I want to take it out, then I have to put that back on to put a strap on the camera, uh, and it's it's awkward. These are nightmare to put on and take off. So, okay, let's put the camera in. Okay, that's in. Let's uh, screw the screw underneath. I'm using a small rig tool, which is always with me. But if you don't have a small rig tool, all small rig accessories now, including the cage, have got a embedded hidden keys, like, like this cage has actually got magnetic little key and the key for the screw underneath. Okay, to attach the camera on the other side, this actually tiny little screw goes through the, the loop where the strap holder is and you screw it into the cage to secure the second point. So now when this, these two are secure, the camera won't move at all in the cage. Nice. Okay, let's go for the lens. This is a Sigma 50mm f1.4 with the FTZ adapter. And the first thing you're gonna notice when you put the FTZ adapter on the cage, that it's not flush with the cage. So if you wanna put it on the tripod and you wanna put a tripod plate on the FTZ adapter as you meant to, you won't be able to go flush. So attach the tripod to this, you have to use one of those. This is small rig uh, accessories, which goes flat underneath and underneath the FTZ adapter, FTZ adapter, and uh, makes it possible to attach it to the tripod. Okay, so that's on. It's flat on the bottom, so you can actually attach the tripod plate. I use this base plate mainly to be able to attach the rods to it and the follow focus system. So let's <laughs> take it apart. And this is a standard Arca Swiss uh, plate, which will fit in a in a man a man for the tripod or yeah, standard tripod really. It's got two screws, so again you secure it so it doesn't untwist itself. Let's put it on the camera. Okay, that's two screws, so it won't unscrew itself. And that really nicely, it's just a clip-on really uh, plate, it just clicks in nicely in a, in a base plate and locks in, and that's your base plate attached. Carbon fiber rods, six inch long, 15 uh, millimeter diameter. Now, the follow focus system. I do not use, uh, there's no, there is no small rig uh, follow focus system, but there is a lot of uh, very fancy and expensive ones uh, available. But I, a lot of times, rely on autofocus. If I don't, I use hand uh, usually. And if I don't, <laughs> I go for the follow focus, mainly to have that uh, smooth, easier transition, or if, I, if I'm using cine lenses occasionally. So I didn't invest a lot of money in it. This is the cheapest you can buy on Amazon. This is a new year, new year, yeah, follow focus. This comes with this uh, detachable, uh, gears 
to put on the vents. And here we are, this is our firmly attached follow focus. It's simple, it's cheap, but it works. Let's go for the second main after the cage accessory, which is the top handle. I went for this one uh, for many reasons. This is a secure hot shoe with a button to actually release it, which is uh, cool. It has got a second hot shoe in the back. It has got a rod clamp in the middle and like all, all accessories, it's got a magnetic uh, Allen key, which attaches to the side of the handle. But another thing is though, I hate the top handles, which go in a hot shoe. I don't trust it. And I hate handles I cannot take off quickly. I used to have handles before where you need two screws to, to put them in. This has got a, the Ari attaching uh, mount. So it's got two, two bolts and a screw which goes straight into the, into the cage and tighten with your fingers and Allen key just to let you tiny turn to attach it firmly to the cage. And uh, yeah, Allen key stays in it and it's firm, solid great shape to hold the camera and next thing is the the left handle this is the the lightweight well ish lightish aluminum aluminium handle with a nato clamp again for the same reason i want to take this off quickly i can just unclamp it with no allen keys uh, needed at all this is this could be attached to left or right side you can if change that you take the the clamp off and put it on the other side. Also hot shoe on top and the cage. This, this uh, Nikon Z6 cage has got actually the left side is the NATO with a clamp. So all you need to do is put the handle on it, clamp it on and tighten with hand. Of course, solid, no movement at all when the clamp is tightened with just your fingers. This is a this is the right handle and I went for this tiny one, not the same one as this. I just don't usually use the right handle as, as much because I hold it with my left hand and I do a focusing with, with my right hand. Uh, so on this side, I kind of leave it like this if I'm in a rush, but if I'm not, I want to put this. There's no NATO clamp on this. Uh, the cage is actually wider. It actually comes with a NATO clamp, which attaches to the side of the cage to attach the handle to. Okay, that's solid. And the handle just clamps on like the other one easily on the side. Even though this handle is tiny, it still gives you enough support to hold it in the right hand. Now with this handle, what I do, when I don't have a handle, I do have a handle, I put this hand strap. So I attach this hand strap, use the cage. So when I do photography and I take everything off and I leave the camera in the cage, that actually stays on it. But if I use this handle, the right handle, I actually put this on as well. The hand strap goes on there, so it feels a bit more secure. Obviously, this is a bit tricky now. I usually just hold it this way and that kind of gives me a bit of support as well to put the camera and the whole thing, a bit of weight on my, on my wrist. Now this thing, this is a tilt and swivel monitor uh, holder. You can get this again for the Ari mounting hole, which can go on top of the handle. Uh, you can attach it to the top of the handle on a, on a cold shoe, but I hate the monitors on top. It makes the whole rig really too tall. So specifically for this handle and then with a cold shoe, a cold shoe, I like to attach the, the monitor thingy on, on here. Okay, let's tighten. Again, it's a very simple one. Just tighten with your fingers and uh, tighten tiny a bit more with the Allen key. And there's a lot of Allen keys in this cage already. And the monitor. This is a Ninja 5, Atomos Ninja 5. Now on this, on Ninja 5, I've also got a small rig hot shoe just to give me one more for the reason, which I'm gonna get there. Let's attach the monitor. Again, this is the same, same principle. Tighten with your fingers and just finish tightening off with the Allen key. Uh, put a battery just to put a whole weight on it. This is the big NPF battery and that tilts and swivels without it being, without using any Allen keys, of course. And, uh, okay, nearly there. I do record everything I do to Ninja 5. Very rarely I record in the camera. But if I record internally, which is very, very rarely, I would possibly use this mic to attach to, to here and to the camera to, to record audio. The video mic, this is not a pro, this is video mic, I think it's plus code, whatever it is, is the video, road video mic, and I use it on, on this. It's a problem at the moment because when you switch the Nikon Z6 to record, 
externally to Ninja 5, it doesn't record anything to memory card. And that's a good thing because now when I put this handle on with the NATO clamp, clamp on the side, I cannot open the door to take the card out. So because I record everything to Ninja 5, it doesn't really matter. If I don't put a handle on the side, again, it doesn't matter. I can record on the card and take it out easy. But this is the pretty much solid setup here. I would plug the Rode VideoMic Pro 2 by Ninja 5. And uh, if I record internally, obviously we're gonna, it's gonna go to the camera directly. And now uh, with the cables, there is actually small rig clamp to, to attach your cables to, well, to secure the cables in the camera. But there is a big bat. These uh, Nikon, Nikon uh, flaps covering the, the, the sockets. Now these apparently come out. I haven't managed to work it out how to pull this thing out from the, from the camera. But if you need a clamp to clamp the cables, well, this has to come out for, for the clamp to have, to have actually space to be attached to the cage. I don't have one for that reason. I don't know how to take these out. So I leave it, I leave it as is. Now I'm using an Atomos cable seems to be most most reliable and we're lucky with the Nikon Z6 as well with a mini HDMI not the macro so it's quite secure clicks in and stays in the camera solid and that's all plugged in now the last the last piece of a jigsaw already here is the wireless go the road wireless go usually when I'm recording someone and I'm doing the, the rig if it's on a tripod or handheld i would mic someone underneath the clothes with the wireless go so this actually goes specially on this uh, hot shoe on the ninja 5 so i can plug it directly into ninja 5 with a supplied cable and that obviously the microphone and the transmitter on the, the talent myself if I'm being filmed by someone with this or or if I'm filming someone else so the, these two microphones do wouldn't usually go together because you can't record into Ninja 5 and internally on this but I would plug one or the other into Ninja 5 depending on the on the scenario but this is pretty much the whole thing it's heavy but it's quite solid. There's nothing wobbling. There's no movement in this. It's all very well screwed together. Thanks to small rig and a small ring compatibility of all these pieces. Now, why would you really want to have a rig and a cage like this? Obviously the first, the first thing is ability to attach extra accessories like microphones at Ninja 5 and other microphones and whatever else you want to attach to it, lights, whatever. It's, there's a lot of ways to attach things to it. Also the weight, actually it helps to keep it secure, more secure in your hands and remove those micro jitters while filming, holding it from top and, and moving 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 shots forward the gravity will help you to keep the shots steady so this rig this is a fully loaded everything on it uh, i use it in a various degrees of of <laughs> fullness the follow focus is probably the less used on my rig because i usually use my hand or auto focusing then second less use is that right handle because i put that hand strap directly onto the cage and i can put my hand in there which is again making it all smaller and easier easier to assemble quicker quicker to assemble but also when i do photography now the, the camera is attached to the cage with a little screw on the side uh, i actually want to take the handles off as quickly as i can and shoot photos with it without uh, taking the cage or well, taking the camera out of the cage so the having the hand strap on the cage directly makes it actually easier to just keep a keep a camera in the cage apparently it's not a light i cannot weigh it now i don't know how much it weighs but i, I would say probably six kilo five kilo maybe altogether maybe maybe less i don't know it's heavy so for long periods of of, of filming with it it's not always uh, the most comfortable thing but having those two handles to spread the weight on two hands also to be able to carry an occasion to change the, the way the way you're carrying it it's it helps it helps to to manage it i have filmed for three four hours before with this continuously without without huge problems and yeah it's usable absolutely usable and this is it from me i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of content cameras uh, photography video lenses uh, reviews and tutorials please consider subscribing thank you for watching and i'll see you next time and so before and before i talk about every single item on this ring 
Uh, next one is the right handle. No, this is the left handle. <laughs> when I don't have a handle, I do have a handle. I put this hand strap. Uh, it's called strap. So my list of things on the uh, hand strap, yeah. Okay, and the last, and the last jigsaw, 